Hello, my name's Luke, and today we're going to be showing you how to get started with the iWand, Sonodyne's acoustic testing and configuration device. To get started, you need to follow three simple steps. Get, set and deploy. Inside your box, you'll find everything, including the software, power supplies and Bluetooth dongle. When you first get to your iWand, it will be in shipping mode. To wake it up, simply plug the iWand into the PC using the USB cable provided. Next, UTC time needs to be set. To do this, ensure GPS is enabled by scrolling to iWand Setup. Power saving. GPS enable. Make sure the iWand has clear view of the sky and within a minute or two the time will be displayed. Right, we're ready to get started. We have an iWand, we have a 6G transponder on the back deck of a vessel and we need to upload the information from the transponder to the iWand using the GET configuration. Scroll down to GET configuration Press enter twice. Remember to keep the iWand antenna firmly placed against the transducer. The iWand will then acoustically interrogate and discover the current settings of the transponder. In a minute, the iWand will ask to do a release test and also a sensor check. We're gonna click no, as we'll be testing these later. That's that process complete. For multiple transponders, we would move to the next transponder and repeat this process. This is the iWand 6G configurator software. Once you've connected your iWand via either the USB, serial or Bluetooth connections, simply click refresh to view your recent uploads. On the status tab of the selected transponder, you will see a representative image, identification details, firmware versions, battery data, along with features of instruments and sensors installed on the unit. Using this tab, we can configure our transponder for deployment. We select the job type, for example, USB-L positioning, and on the slider, we can select the range most appropriate for our job. This sets the most optimum power and gain settings for the transponder. Notice the indicator turns red whilst changes are being made, and then yellow when they are stored in the iWand. Here we can change other system settings for the transponder and if required to change the address, we can select from the list. If multiple transponders are stored, we will then repeat the process for the next transponder. We are now ready to set this transponder. Now we've stored these new settings in the iWand, we need to download these to the 6G transponder using set configuration. To do this, scroll down to set configuration, click enter twice. The iWand automatically identifies the transponder via its unique ID and downloads the new settings for that specific transponder. At this point, it's going to ask us to run a release test, which we're going to click yes. And then we're going to open the release.
It's then reported the release is open. We can go to finish test and it's going to ask us if the release was successful. Click yes. The eye wand will then ask you to do a sensor check. Click yes. At this point you may get an amber reading. This means the sensors are not settled. You may need to refresh a few times. Once the values come back green and you're happy with the values, click finish. Right, this 6G transponder is ready to go. Remember you can store settings for multiple transponders in the iWand. I would simply go to the next transponder and do set configuration. Click refresh and click generate report. This produces your evidence of functionality and settings applied in a PDF format which can be saved and provided to your client or supervisor. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.